In this question, we are given a table which shows the number of students who have passed or failed the exam when they took a standardized test. And this table is also broken down in terms of the gender, that is in terms of male and female. How many males have passed or failed? How many female is passed or failed? And we have to determine if the gender and passing the test is considered as independent events. Let's suppose that if we have uh, two events like uh, A and B and these two events are said to be independent if uh, the probability of A and B is equal to probability of A multiplied with the probability of B. When this condition is satisfied, we say that these two events are independent. So therefore, let's try to apply this formula to determine if property of uh, female and fail is considered to be independent events. So for that uh, we have to uh, uh, evaluate these two, these expressions, this expression as well as this expression. This is basically nothing but the right side expression given over here considering uh, the event A as uh, female and of uh, considering B as the fail. So let's calculate the right side expression. That is, we are going to calculate property of female times property of fail. To calculate this, we need to uh, calculate the number of females as well as the number of students who have failed. Number of uh, female is given by adding this row elements, that is 15 plus 6, which is uh, 21. So there are about 21 females. The number of students who have failed is by adding this column element that is 10 plus 6 which is 16 and we know that the total number of students is the sum of all the numbers that is 25 plus 10 plus 15 plus 6 so when we add these all numbers we get the total students as 56 so therefore property of female multiplied with the property of uh, fail is equal to we know that uh, there are about uh, 21 females so it is equivalent to 21 over 56 because the probability of any event is the number of events favorable to the event as divided by the total uh, num uh, total number and probability of failed is equal to the number of students who have failed is 16 so this has to be 16 by 56 and when you evaluate this we get the result as uh, 0.107 this is equivalent to 0.107. Now like, let's calculate the right side expression. That is, we are going to calculate this P of A and B. In this case, it is, we are going to calculate this P of female and fail. So this is equal to probability of female and fail. So we have to look at the table and understand what is the number which gives us information? Uh, we have to pick the number wherein the female uh, as well as failed. So this is the number which represents the number of female as well as the number of students who have failed. So we consider this is equal to 6. Therefore, the favorable event is 6 and the total event is 56. And when we calculate this uh, or when we plug this into the calculator, we get the number as 0.107. So when you compare these two results, we get the same properties, which is uh, 0.107. So therefore, these two right uh, expressions, that is probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B, which means the results are same, or we can write down as equal. So the uh, events are independent, which is the answer for this question.